Hey, what's up guys? It's Joe, and today I want to take a look at an app that I just recently found out about. Um, it's an app that will actually help you make a logo. Um, now I know there's probably uh, some other apps or what have you out there on the market, uh, but this one, um, well, okay, so let me just say that I really don't have a lot of experience with Macs. Uh, I've only been using a Mac computer uh, as my regular computer for about two months and I switched because I really like what they do with uh, movie editing and music editing and it's just uh, everything seems more intuitive so um, I wasn't aware of this app but uh, we're gonna go to the App Store and we're gonna check it out it's called art to text and let's see there's two versions there's art to text light and art to text paid which is $20 now, believe it or not, the light version actually offers a lot. And if you're not doing uh, logos professionally, uh, I would definitely recommend just going with the light version at least to see um, what exactly it's about and if it's an app that you can use. So, like I said, I haven't really been using Mac for a long time. And this app, <clears throat> excuse me, this app actually was very easy to use. So we're going to open it up and check it out. So let's see here. Okay, so when it first opens, it actually gives you some options, and you'll realize what these options are once we go into the program itself. Uh, but as you can see, I mean, wet, it actually has that look. Steel, it'll have that look, uh, and things of that nature. Uh, I usually start with new blank because you really can kind of accomplish this. Um, on your own in there so I'm going to click new blank and we're going to start it actually starts out with text um, that's just the default one that it comes up with so you would click on well, double click on that and we're just gonna type in test and um, of course you can see it's a certain size um, you come down here to fonts I actually downloaded uh, some fonts from the App Store as well. I think it's called like 350 free fonts or something like that. Um, there are a lot of nice fonts in there. haven't completely gone through all of them. But anyhow, so uh, you can switch your fonts up. Uh, okay, cool. That, that looks kind of Sega Genesis E. Uh, pretty cool. So we'll just leave that on there. You can also resize the text so you can bring it down I'm probably gonna bring it down and then close this and close this now you can add shapes you can add more text uh, you can actually come up here and there's these designs that will actually show up in the uh, either the shape or the text so if I switch to keyboard there's a keyboard behind there uh, if I switch to this and so on um, okay over here is more of what you saw where um, you could see like the metal finish or the wet finish uh, if we click on aqua it's gonna look kind of 3d and aqua ish um, and so these are your basic color schemes or background schemes or what what have you for your base now you could actually come into these other tabs here and this is uh, called geometry and as you can see uh, pretty self-explanatory if I click one of these it's going to do that to the text or the shape or whatever it is so play around with these a little bit kind of gives you a unique look actually that's kind of cool kind of like that but if you didn't want that come down here to reset it resets you straight back so I'm gonna click that again and uh, you can actually move this like such and do all kinds of little things with it so we'll leave that there uh, that looks fine and I'm gonna go back to effects so now note if you hit one of these it's gonna change the thing so just leave it on that and if you want to add something else like a shape come down here hit plus and it's gonna give you your basic shapes um, let me see what icons is you can you can throw icons in there custom is a paid um, um, 
it's a paid part of it where if you pay for the app you can access it so we'll go ahead and click out of that and click out of that so if you want to go back in here boom here's your shapes circle circle with a hole in it half moon things like that uh, we're gonna go with let's just say a square for these purposes and you can resize it of course well let me click out of this you can resize it okay start over I don't know what I just did but well I guess I hit remove well you can come up here undo delete layer and it'll bring it right back what I'm trying to do is there we go and if you notice now that's completely covered really simple boom now we're back in business now you can click between the two layers up here click test click the box so we're gonna click test and we're gonna move it over so I'm just gonna use my arrow keys I'm gonna move that over a little bit so it's kind of centered it's got that cool symmetry going um, you can still see the 3d ish effect and then we'll click this box here we're gonna go here and you can choose through different colors here I've just got it set to this uh, crayon box but if you want to get more specific you can choose this color wheel here um, and there's some other options here I like to do this and then I, uh, once I selected my color we'll just say black you can still go over here and tweak it or if I selected blue you could tweak the color blue and while I'm in here as well I'll show you um, the opacity so that would kind of make that a, a little more opaque and it actually looks kind of nice when you start to do it like let me click add this and we're gonna go ahead and uh, click on test so now we're working on that there and let's see here there's some things that you can do with the color here uh, if we were just using a plain color you could actually change the opacity of that um, things like that so stroke I want to say is a, like a shadow type deal if I'm not mistaken let me go ahead and can't really see it I guess because this is black so let's just change this to white and you can see also that this box here has some shadow which would be where stroke is and you can make that more prominent make it completely uh, zeroed out there and there's some blur here That'll, that's the white portion of it it'll give you a little more glow to it and let's see here so okay so you can see the black that's starting to form around test so we'll click back on that and you can do that as well um, I'm just going to change this to colors and we're going to go with um, we'll go with this here just to show you um, oops let me go back into the colors again and here's the opacity and you can change that and it's, it's almost like uh, not well obviously it changes the color but uh, you can accomplish some really cool things with that there um, and of course this is just a quick rundown of what this app can do the paid version like I said uh, you can actually go in and let's see here there's some uh, options that you can actually change the uh, the vectors and things like that so you can take this T and move it straight across here if you're familiar with what vector shaping is and things like that um, let's see yeah I mean that's, that's really about it I mean you can change the color here like I said whatever you want um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else in this app that would be useful to you guys um, of course if you save this file here um, you can either save it or export it if you save it I usually save things to my desktop we'll call it untitled it'll save over here on the desktop and it'll be a file that once you open it it'll actually open straight to that there now you can also export this and let's see here 
Uh, we're going to export it to the desktop as well. And we're going to go ahead and just name it 2. Quality is up to high. Uh, I'm actually going to save this as a PNG, and I'll tell you why in a second. Um, so we're going to save that there. And now we have a PNG. Uh, I just want to show you guys something really quick. Um, if, especially if you have a white background, it's, it's really easy. But when you come in here to your uh, preview, um, and if I were to take this test, and let's say this is my logo, if I were to take this and put it um, somewhere else and try to use it over something, this, uh, this teal would show up and, and it wouldn't be, um, it wouldn't be uh, transparent. So if you come in here, and this isn't any big secret, it's you know been on YouTube before, but uh, if you come over here, and you choose your instant alpha and now we're just going to kind of move our mouse in through here and if you notice stuff starts to disappear if we bring it down let's try to let's see it's kind of an art uh, trying to get all of the uh, other color out of it but you see it actually um, highlights this area and I'm just going to hit delete and now, even though there's a little bit still left in here, uh, some of these areas are hard to get. If we take this, and I will go ahead and I'm going to, let's see. I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to open Keynote. And I want a new document. And we're just going to go with black, which is fine. Eh, what the heck, we'll go with white. Choose that. And I'm just going to delete these two here. And we'll paste that into here. And now you see there's no, there's nothing around that. Um, except for you can see that stuff there. So that's just a way that you can actually make a transparent image so that you don't have all that white in the background. Um, but that's really about it. Um, Keynote here is actually uh, an app that you can make uh, pretty basic YouTube intros and YouTube outros. And I'm going to do a video on that. Uh, I'm not the foremost expert on using Keynote, nor am I the foremost expert on using art to text to make, uh, to make logos or anything like that. But I will try to share what knowledge I might have. And let's see here. I might actually include just a little something that I made uh, as an intro um, using Keynote already exporting something from art to text and actually let's see I'll show you some stuff that I've kind of been goofing around with nothing major just something stupid looking like the Google logo nothing that I would ever use but just something to get my feet wet um, I actually did all uh, six of these letters in six different um, layers just so that I could change the color on each layer. I think there's a paid version, or in the paid version, you can actually type out one word and then separate the letters without having to actually make six different layers. So that's actually probably another bonus of that. Uh, let's see here. Um, just goofing around again, just doing stupid little things. But, uh, you know, this is just stuff that you can do. Um, and... <laughs> I didn't use this app before this weekend, and I feel like I've already got a pretty good handle on it. Uh, also, if you've got a bunch of layers, like right now I can move this Joe independently, and I can move this independently. Let's come up here, hit, uh, let's see, select all, and it's going to select all your layers, and you can move them all around uh, at one time. So I think that's about it. Um, if you guys have any questions, I might be able to answer for you. Um, just leave them down in the comment section if this video helped you out if you liked it uh, hit the like button um, also subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and I appreciate you watching and as always guys we'll see you next time